In the heart of the Industrial Revolution, a dark chapter unfolded in the lives of countless children, toiling away in factories, their innocence sacrificed on the altar of progress. This is the story of Lewis Hine, a man armed not with weapons, but with a camera, who dared to confront the brutality of child labor. Born in 1874 in Wisconsin, United States, Lewis Wicks Hine was a visionary photographer whose contributions went beyond mere documentation, acting as a potent force for societal change. In the midst of the social upheavals of the early 20th century, Hine took on the challenging mission of exposing the harsh truths of child labor. Through the medium of photography, he effectively conveyed the silent suffering that often remained unacknowledged. Many children, some as young as five or six years old, were often employed in textile mills, coal mines, and other industries where they could be paid lower wages than adults and were considered more manageable by factory owners. The working conditions were deplorable, with long hours, little to no breaks, and exposure to dangerous machinery. Many children suffered from injuries, health issues, and stunted growth due to malnutrition and overwork. While studying sociology at various universities, Hein eventually found himself as a teacher at the Ethical Culture School in New York City. A keen photographer, he sparked a revolution in education by encouraging his students to use photography as a tool for learning. During a field trip to Ellis Island, Hein had a vision, realizing that photographs, beyond their educational value, could serve as potent instruments for social change and reform. His destiny took a pivotal turn when he assumed the role of photographer for the National Child Labour Committee. Little did he know that his next decade would be dedicated to documenting the harsh reality of child labour in the industries across North and South Carolina. This seemingly innocuous task was risky, as many factories were determined to conceal their use of child labour. Threatened with violence and death by foremen or factory police, Hein resorted to assuming various identities, such as a fire inspector, a postcard vendor, a Bible salesman, and even an industrial photographer, meticulously capturing the truth. Hein's work was not just technically impeccable, it was profoundly human. His photographs not only showcased the stark reality of child labor, but also revealed the resilience and spirit of those enduring it. His tenacity was instrumental in bringing the grim issue to the forefront of public consciousness. One of Hines' most impactful images is that of 12-year-old Addie Card, a young spinner in a cotton mill. This photograph, among others, became a symbol of the plight of child laborers. The haunting image of Addie Card stirred public outrage and served as a catalyst for change. Remarkably, from the exposure brought about by Hines' photographs, a wave of public outcry led to legislative changes. The National Child Labor Committee advocated for reforms and eventually led to the implementation of child labor laws. The collective impact of these efforts marked a turning point in history. Today, the National Child Labor Committee honors Lewis Hine with an annual award, recognizing individuals who passionately advocate for children. Through this accolade, the committee pays tribute to the man whose name has become synonymous with the fight against child labor, acknowledging the lasting impact he made on the lives of young people across America.